Okay, hello, I'm going to do another YouTube video on short stroking a hard drive and this is more of a answer session because I've had a couple questions. So please keep in mind I'm on a Windows 7 professional 64-bit system and what I'm showing you pertains to this operating system even though it would be similar for Windows 8.1 but uh, I had somebody not quite understand uh, that they couldn't short they thought they could short stroke after the fact like after Windows was already loaded or whatnot and and in my previous videos I had had multiple disks showing up in computer management so real quick I'm just gonna go down here and like I showed in another video if you type in comp mgmt.msc that brings up your computer management console and under your disk management is where you will see your hard disk now on this I've got a C drive which is an SSD and my E drive is where I keep all my media files and whatnot so down below here you see disk 0 is always the first disk and uh, oh I'm sorry <laughs> in my case disk 2 is uh, my SSD uh, I got a 256 gig SSD so so my C drive is actually disk 2 I have I don't want to call it an exotic setup but I have what's called a software RAID 1 setup where I wanted to make sure my videos and my multimedia stuff was kinda of backed up on the fly so basically I have two 500 gig drives which are 0 and 1 and they're set up in a RAID 1 array which basically just copies the contents from one drive to or it doesn't copy it writes to both drives at once they're duplicates so if one drive crashes I still have the contents of the other drive they're exact copies of each other and if one drive fails uh, I break the RAID array get another one of those drives put it in and then tell Windows to rebuild the array and then I'll have two copies again so anyway uh, if you already have Windows loaded and your computer's up and running you know you've already got Windows seeing what it sees it's it sees this space is being used and you can't you can't easily just shrink this and um, short stroke your hard drive it's and I don't you know somebody may watch this and come up with some exotic method of you know doing that and you know I'm just trying to keep it simple for people so basically the gist of my short stroking video was you know as people buy SSDs now they've got these spinning disks just lying around and I was just trying to mention that hey you can squeeze some performance out of those and get them you know maybe halfway between spinning disk and SSD performance by doing this thing called short stroking so once you've got your system all up and running you can't really do anything with your existing disks it's it's got to be done on a new disk that's put into the system uh, I hope that answers that particular question um, you know you can leave comments on the videos you know ask me anything specifically uh, I know in a previous video uh, I used I believe the HD HD tune software and kind of showed that a little bit uh, I may do another video uh, focused on HD tune and how it can show you kind of precisely where the cutoffs are to get the uh, performance boosts from your spinning disks but that's all I really have for for this time um, I, if I do another video that shows you um, like from a uh, just vanilla OS load like you're starting with a bare hard drive you want to load Windows and you want to short stroke that hard drive that you put Windows on uh, I'll have to do that with you know my iPhone or whatever and you know I'll just show you which really is just one step when you're doing the setup you just uh, tell Windows not to use uh, all the space available on the partition and uh, and off you go so uh, anyway uh, any questions just leave comments and we'll go from there and if there's anything that you guys are interested in seeing you know other performance tweaks um, some security things I might post videos of that too so uh, for now I'll see you later and uh, uh, I'll try to have a new video soon thanks